Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 1982 science fiction classic, Blade Runner. So let's get started. An important thing to note about this film is that it had several different releases, but we're going to focus on the 2007 Final Cut, as this is the one that is seen as canon for the upcoming Blade Runner 2049. The film begins in Los Angeles in 2019, where ex-cop Rick Deckard is being detained by Officer Gaff and is brought before his former supervisor, Harry Bryant. Deckard used to work as a Blade Runner, which involved tracking down biologically engineered beings known as replicants, and would retire, aka kill, the robots. Deckard is asked to come back to the job to track down four replicants that have came to Earth illegally in order to extend their lifespans, which is supposed to be just for four years. Deckard watches a video of another Blade Runner giving a replicant a Voight Kampf test, which is used to determine if the subject is a human or a replicant based off their emotional responses. The subject, Leon, shoots and kills the Blade Runner after being asked about his mother. Leon, along with three other replicants, Roy Batty, Zora, and Pris, are targets Deckard is asked to retire. Deckard eventually agrees to pursue the replicants. Deckard begins investigating the Tyrell Corporation, the company that made the Nexus 6 models, the version of the replicants that his targets are. He wants to know if the test will work on the newer models, and meets Dr. Eldon Tyrell, the initial creator of the replicants, and his assistant, Rachel, an experimental replicant who believes she is actually human. She has been given false memories for a more real emotional response, making testing very difficult. While Deckard is pursuing the replicants, the replicants are searching for Dr. Tyrell in order to extend their lifespans. Roy and Leon investigate a replicant manufacturing lab and learn of a genetic designer, J.F. Sebastian, who works with Dr. Tyrell. Eventually, Pris locates Sebastian and manipulates him into siding with her. Meanwhile, Rachel visits Deckard at his apartment to prove that she is human by showing him a family photo, but Deckard explains that her memories are false taken from Dr. Tyrell's knees, and she leaves in tears. While searching Leon's apartment, Deckard finds a photo of Zora in a synthetic snake scale and leads him to the strip club where Zora works. Deckard kills Zora and shortly after is told by Bryant that he needs to retire Rachel as she has escaped from the Tyrell Corporation. Deckard spots Rachel, but is attacked by Leon, and eventually Rachel kills Leon using Deckard's gun. The two go back to Deckard's apartment, and Deckard promises not to track her down. At Sebastian's apartment, Roy tells Pris that the other replicants are dead. Sebastian decides to continue to help them, as he has an aging disorder which causes him to die at a much faster rate, much like the replicants. Sebastian and Roy enter Dr. Tyrell's penthouse, and Roy demands for Dr. Tyrell to extend his life. Tyrell tells Roy that it is impossible to extend his life, and eventually Roy kills him. Sebastian and Roy take an elevator down together, and though not shown, it is implied that Roy kills Sebastian. Back at Sebastian's apartment, Deckard is ambushed by Pris, but he manages to kill her as Roy returns. Roy begins to die from reaching the end of his lifespan, and begins to chase Deckard, ending up on the roof. Deckard tries to jump to another roof, but misses, and is left hanging. Roy easily makes the jump, and pulls Deckard up. As Roy's time runs out, he says that his memories will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Officer Gaff arrives and shouts to Deckard about Rachel, saying, it's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? Deckard returns to his apartment, finding Rachel safe in his bed. Deckard finds a small tinfoil origami unicorn on the floor from Gaff, and recalls Gaff's final words. The unicorn refers to a dream that Deckard had earlier in the film, implying that Officer Gaff knew what Deckard was dreaming about, because Deckard himself was in fact a replicant. Deckard and Rachel quickly leave the apartment as the film ends. So that was the spoilers for Blade Runner. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.